Now to a new CNN investigation of Airbnb, the popular vacation rental company that boasts millions of hosts but has not stopped guests from ending up on hidden cameras inside a number of rentals, which have recorded them in their most private moments. Kim La has the exclusive report. It was just like, holy crap, this is a camera. But it didn't look like a camera. It was a phone charger. Chloe LeBrumet's fiancé had grabbed it from the bedroom wall of their Airbnb, thinking it was hers. The Airbnb host had called us on the phone and, and told us that we had taken a charger that did not belong to us and that we needed to return it immediately. At what point did you think, this isn't really a charger? He became increasingly paranoid. When am I getting this charger back? I think it was like a light bulb moment that we all just went, oh my goodness, is this a hidden camera? Across North America, police have seized thousands of images from hidden cameras at Airbnb rentals, including people's most intimate moments. What happened when you realized that there was a camera in that charger? It's so eerie and so creepy. Then your brain starts thinking, what did they see? What, were, what, what happened while we were in that room? In a small town in Maine, a couple found a hidden camera at their Airbnb. Listen to what the host told police. So they, they had sex? Yeah. And you recorded that? I took some screenshots. The host admits he set up a camera hidden in this clock next to the bed to record unsuspecting guests. So there, there are, there's stuff of a couple, couple of couples playing around or getting changed. So, uh... Okay, so there's, there's pictures of people that are in intimate situations. Yes. Okay. It's more than just a few reported cases, and Airbnb knows it's a problem. In this deposition reviewed by CNN, an Airbnb rep said 35,000 customer support tickets about security cameras or recording devices had been documented over a decade. Airbnb told CNN a single complaint can involve multiple tickets. And a CNN investigation found Airbnb not only fails to protect its guests, it works to keep complaints out of the courts and away from the public. Why don't we know about this? They are trying to keep it secretive. And if everyone knew what was happening, they would not be using their website. Airbnb wants to wash their hands clean when they have a host who does something illegal or suspicious. They want to say we are simply a website. We are not responsible for this host. We are not responsible for this property. Florida attorneys Belkis Plata and Shannon Schott say trying to sue Airbnb if something goes wrong is extremely difficult. It begins when you sign up on Airbnb's website and click agree to its terms of service. You're agreeing to assume all risk. The person going to rent the property agrees that if something happens while they're staying at this accommodation, they're actually prohibited from suing Airbnb. They must go a different route, which is a binding arbitration. It's a way to strong arm someone. Is this about controlling publicity? 100%. Absolutely. Once they've settled a claim, Airbnb has required guests to sign confidentiality agreements, which CNN obtained, that keep some details of legal cases private. For you to get the check, you must sign the piece of paper so that no one will know this will be swept under the rug. That's exactly what happened to this man. How did you feel signing that confidentiality agreement? Dirty. This man asked us not to show his face and we've masked his voice. He and his wife were recorded during a romantic getaway. They had intimate footage of my wife and I. The sexual union between two people is sacred. It felt like an extreme violation of our marriage. It's devastating. It's a travesty. In this case and others, CNN found that Airbnb does not contact law enforcement once hidden cameras are discovered, even if children are involved. Recording someone without their consent is illegal in every state. If people are out sharing their stories of how they were victimized, through the services of Airbnb, nobody's going to want to trust them. This man only found out he and his wife were recorded because police called him months later after another guest found the camera. And they explained that every single room in the house had cameras. Every room? The cameras were hidden in 
smoke detectors. Part of the challenge is that the technology has gotten so advanced, these cameras so small that you can't even see them. In this one bedroom, we have put multiple cameras all around and they're hidden in plain sight. This one is in the smoke alarm, an alarm clock, and even an outlet. And some of them, like this one, I can control remotely on my phone and even live stream. What would you like to tell Airbnb? By not doing their due diligence, they're harming families and they're selfishly making a lot of money while doing that. Airbnb declined an interview for this story, but told CNN incidents of hidden cameras are exceptionally rare. And when we do receive an allegation, we take appropriate swift action, which can include removing hosts and listings. Airbnb's trust and safety policies lead the vacation rental industry. Ken Law joins us now. So you said Airbnb does not notify police if a hidden camera is found. What exactly do they do? Well, Airbnb says that it has a law enforcement response team that will support police in these sorts of cases. And the company says what it also does, though, is that it often notifies the host if a hidden camera is found. And that can backfire because that will allow a potential suspect to delete and destroy evidence. We should point out, Anderson, that mm. since CNN began reporting out this story, there was a new policy put in place by Airbnb, and that essentially banned indoor cameras inside its rentals. But it has long been against Airbnb's rules to put cameras inside bedrooms. And as you just saw, that didn't stop some hosts from doing it anyway. Um, King Law, thank you very much. Coming up next, what we know from federal authorities about a U.S. Marshal who shot a suspect who tried to carjack him while he was protecting the home of a Supreme Court justice. That's ahead.